Hey there, lovely folks. Welcome back to For Real, your go-to channel for all things tech and troubleshooting. I'm Anna, and today we've got a handy guide that'll save your day if you're facing an issue with Safari. And it's saying, cannot open the page because the address is invalid. Don't fret, I've got your back. All right, let's get started. The first thing you want to do when Safari throws that address is invalid error is to check your internet connection. Sometimes it's as simple as that. Open Safari, try loading a few different pages, and if any of them load, it means your internet connection is just fine. Now it's easy to make a typo when typing in a web address. We've all been there. So double check that web address at the top of Safari for any mistakes. Once you're sure it's correct, tap or click the refresh button in Safari, which is this circular arrow to the right of the address bar. Websites often have a mobile version that's different from the desktop version. Sometimes, Safari tries to load the wrong one. On your iPhone or iPad, go to Settings, to Safari, then to Request Desktop Website. Make sure it's turned off or on, depending on the situation. Hi there! Before we continue to these quick fix solutions, remember to hit that like button if you find this video helpful. Subscribe to our channel for more tech solutions, and ring that notification bell so you won't miss any of our tutorials. All right, let's get back on track. If Safari ever thinks a web address is invalid, it might be due to background issues in the browser. Here's a quick fix. For iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch users, access your open apps by swiping up from the bottom of the screen or double-clicking the Home button. Locate Safari and swipe it off the top of the screen to close it. Don't forget to return to the home screen before reopening Safari. On a Mac, click on Safari in the top left corner and select Quit Safari from the menu. Alternatively, use the keyboard shortcut command plus Q. If Safari is unresponsive, try Option plus Command plus Escape to force it to close. These steps should get Safari back on track. If the issue persists, go ahead and restart your device. It's a simple but effective step that can often resolve these kinds of glitches. On an iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch, press and hold the sleep-wake button with either volume button, then slide to power off. On a Mac, open the Apple menu and select Shut Down, then confirm you want to shut down the Mac. Wait at least 30 seconds before pressing the Sleep, Wake, or Power button to restart your device. Reopen Safari and try loading different pages again. Keeping your device's software up to date is crucial. If Safari is playing up because of a software bug, Apple should be working hard to release a fix for it. On an iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch, go to Settings, to General, then to Software Update. Download and install any available updates for your device. On a Mac, open the Apple menu and go to System Preferences, then to Software Update. Again, make sure you download and install the latest updates. Safari saves a lot of data from websites, and sometimes that data can get corrupted. To fix it, go to Settings, to Safari on iPhone iPad, or Safari, to Preferences, then to Privacy on Mac, and clear your browsing history and website data. Lastly, if all else fails, consider changing your device's DNS settings. It's like changing the address book your device uses to find websites. You can do this in the device settings. On iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. 1. Open settings, then tap Wi-Fi. 2. Tap the I next to your Wi-Fi network. 3. Select Configure DNS. 4. Enter the DNS servers you want. For reference, here is the Google Public DNS. Use these servers. On Mac, 1. Click the Apple menu, go to System Preferences, then click Network. 2. Choose your Wi-Fi network from the sidebar. 3. Click on Advanced, then go to DNS. 4. Add the DNS servers you prefer. Updating your DNS might just make Safari work like a charm. There you have it, folks. Eight simple steps to tackle that pesky Safari cannot open the page because the address is invalid error. Remember to try them in order and one of them should do the trick for you. And if this video helped you out, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button for more tech tips, and drop a comment below to share your experience or ask any questions. Thanks for tuning in to 4Real, and I'll catch you in the next one.